Let me suggest something to you, if I may. Back in the middle of the 1990s, the legendary perfumer, Mr. Mason Francis Kirkajan, he put together an incredible fragrance. And I'm going to suggest to you that the old boy, when he put it together, he knew exactly, exactly what he was doing. First of all, though, I need to give you a massive, massive warm welcome to a John Leg Fragrance Review. I'm seriously just a random crazy guy. I'm not monetized. I'm not sponsored. Nobody asks me to sell their products. It is me sharing my passion for fragrances, hopefully with the idea that you will be inspired to wear a good fragrance every single day. Where were we? Oh yeah, middle of the 1990s. Mason Francis Kirkajan put this juice together and I'm going to suggest to you that this juice has stood the test of time okay now before you say come on leggy man it's old it's dated leave it alone okay if you were to try and tell me about sort of the top five men's fragrances in the 1990s you'd probably go um Eternity for Men, uh, you'd probably go Hugo Boss Bottled, and then you'd start drying up, you'd trying to think of, oh, what was it, what was it? Okay, every guy who wears fragrance knows of this fragrance, or most likely has had a bottle of this fragrance. What is it? It is Jean Paul Gaultier's La Male, the original. And I say the perfumer was Mr. Mason Francis Kirkajan. Okay, what did he do that is so incredible in this juice? He took the sort of fairly non-original lavender vibe that had been used in so many men's fragrances. I mean, as in the standard sort of lavender vibe, that sort of very tangy, sharp, almost bitter lavender and he smothered it, smothered it with vanilla, okay? And it is essentially a lavender vanilla scent. Okay, Leggy, there must be other notes in. Yes, of course there are other notes in there. Right, he took a pinch of citrus at the top, put the pinch of citrus in. He put a pinch of spices. There's a little bit of cinnamon. There's a little bit of cardamom in there. Okay, this fragrance, right, the overall outcome of this fragrance is a fresh, soapy fragrance. It's incredibly clean. It is just like out the shower. It is incredibly masculine, although it's sweet. And it is incredible in terms of, for my nose, I say, this stuff is timeless. Let's spray it. You have to pull the little off his neck. Okay, all right, even just the bottle is iconic. It is legendary. When you see that, you know Le Mail. You know Jean-Paul Gaultier. Okay, that's enough for me for it to be a legend. Okay, you smell the lavender, you smell the vanilla, you smell, I'm gonna say there's some tonka in there as well. You get the little bit of spices and the tiny bit of citrus to give it a freshness. There, oh, I, actually I've forgotten. There's also some awesome mint in there. I mean, why wouldn't you put mint if you're trying to create a fresh, exciting, but nevertheless clean and soapy fragrance? This guy, Mr. Mason Francis Kirkajan, he was so, forward thinking with this fragrance. You know, it took fragrances into the next generation. And I'm gonna say, this was the inspiration, this is only my personal opinion, this was the inspiration for Chanel Allure, and this was the inspiration for Armani Code. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but that to me, I see this as the start of the men's fragrances becoming more sort of clean and less green and that sort of thing, and this fragrance, actually for me I still wear it now okay 
I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy it because the current formulation, it's pretty much the same smell of the 1990s, mid 1990s, but unfortunately the performance is a little bit grisly on this one. You get it, all right, it's not the worst. I will say it's not the worst. If you put it on fresh moisturized skin, because it is an EDT, it's an editor toilet, so you know, you can't expect it to be a crazy good performance. And it's been reformulated, I'm going to say several times, it's been sold and it's made under license, blah, blah, blah. In other words, it is the pretty much the same smell, although it's perhaps lost a little bit of its depth, but the performance, let's just get this out of the way. It is not a great performer in its current formulation. It was back in the day, it was a powerhouse, it was a room filler, it was a choker, it was an attention grabbing fragrance. These days, on my average, non-oily, non-dry, sort of Anglo-Saxon kind of skin, I get about an hour and a half to two hours of being a scent bubble. There is a little bit of projection maybe in the first half hour, and then it pretty much fades to a skin scent. It's a skin scent for about five or six hours. And on clothes, it's similar, but realistically, your scent bubble lasts anything up to and including two hours, don't expect anymore. So it is not the worst performance, but it's not a great performance. But realistically, you know, I'm not sponsored, I'm not selling you. Realistically, I'm talking to you about fragrances with the hope that you'll go, oh, I've got that, I might go and wear it. Or even that you'll go and get another fragrance from your wardrobe, put it out for work, ready for the morning, and you spray it before you leave the house. You will have so much of a better day wearing a fragrance. And you know what, I've been banging on about this for the last couple of years, and seriously, a lot of people have fed me back and said, like, you're right. Or some people have said, oh, I've got that fragrance, like, you've just reminded me. Or some people say, yes, you're right, like, it is so much better wearing a fragrance. It keeps that smile on your face and it may start a conversation with a random stranger and you never know. But what about just your own well-being, you wearing it and smelling it? Man, this is such a crazy good fragrance. Yes, it's very... Oh, is it very dated? Yes, it has a dated element because you know it came from something your dad or your granddad would wear. But realistically, if you're in the market for a fragrance, a clean, soapy, gentleman's classic, this, you couldn't get much worse than this. This is absolutely crazy good. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you coming to this channel. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your patience. And I appreciate the fact that you're considering a cheeky thumbs up. Yes, thank you very much. And I would love you to come back next time. In the meantime, please stay safe and choose a good fragrance and wear it every single day. You know, don't wear it Monday and then I forgot Tuesday. Wear it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, get your fragrances out, ready for work in the morning, chuck them in your bag for work, keep them in the glove box of your car, have a fragrance with you all the time, because you never know when you might need to top up and keep that smile going. I'm going to be leaving now. Good night and goodbye.